Hi, I am Vishishparam. In this video, we will see some of the XPAC feature related uh, boot subjects. Already we have checked uh, almost 15 different boot subjects, right? This is uh, the last boot subjects, okay? So, this is related to the XPAC. XPAC means obviously security related, okay? Fine. Uh, almost there are five uh, things are uh, for five uh, the, uh, checks are uh, uh, verified okay the first things okay watch the encryption key what is a watch encryption key is very simple if you are sending uh, if you are sending any sensitive data to your uh, in your body in your body of uh, watcher okay you may want to encrypt your data okay you may want to encrypt data if it is the case you have to set the encryption key on every node but uh, but in a real time use case, we, do, we do not bother about okay. In real time use case, we will not send any sensitive information in the watch action, right? Okay. <coughs> so, usually the uh, action content will be in the plain text, okay. That is, that is just intimation information or alert kind of stuff. So, obviously, you do not need, okay. Okay. And then, uh, if it is, uh, if it is, uh, let us say, uh, even in, in other way, uh, let us say you, you are running watch here, okay. Uh, you are running watcher and you want to uh, you are of course if it is a watcher you might configure some username password okay those username password has uh, will be uh, let us say username password of your account or your some uh, basic username password for your to, to get some security tokens similarly right okay um, then this information will be the plain in, plain text right obviously uh, to our to encrypt that word now we have to store in the key store okay in the key store okay yeah, it will be either a metal server or SaaS based okay you can you have options okay so it, uh, those sensitive information will be stored in the key store now what is the problem uh, that key store has to be uh, has to be uh, it will not sync automatically right so the even a key store cannot be synced in fact okay so what is the, what is the way now uh, you have to set the same uh, key everywhere encryption key everywhere okay and I mean everywhere means in every node okay so that is what uh, for uh, that is what about the watcher watch and keep it so but it, it has to set one every node okay then second things okay uh, of course yeah, Elasticsearch support many Elasticsearch support many is a security rules okay not only uh, PKI okay uh, it support many okay sorry it support many uh, security rules, uh, rules okay uh, <coughs> file based native native means uh, index based file based and of course, what else? Uh, uh, LDAP based, uh, uh, SAML based, okay. Then of course, Active Directory based. Okay, there are, there are many security rules are supported by the Elasticsearch. Okay, but if you are using PKI based, that is token based, right? Okay, if you are using PKI based, then TLS has to be uh, has to be has to be enabled. So that means among these machines, okay, among these machines, it is enabled. Okay. Now, uh, very uh, very uh, very important one thing, sir. Okay, uh, see. Uh, security in the way in the version 7.16 onwards okay okay it's enabled by default okay uh, I'm saying like it is enabled by default since version 7.16 onwards at least I am saying yeah, yeah, 16, yeah 16 onwards I am saying that okay Okay, I don't know exactly where when they have enabled it like this, but but still 7.9 it will be to was not there. I'm sure. Still 7.10 we have to enable security feature manually. Okay, uh, we will we can destroy. Uh, I mean, uh, we, uh, in the Elasticsearch OAML file we have to enable manually. By default, it will be disabled security feature. But uh, since uh, 7.16 onwards it is enabled by default. Okay, so there is no uh, there is no option you have to enable. So if it is enabled, maybe you can disable. Or it's up to you. Okay maybe we can disable okay okay but by since it is by default enabled the one more thing see if it if you if you if you are not enabling security feature you cannot uh, you cannot uh, you cannot add your license okay only the secure elastic cluster only you can add your uh, license very simple okay only secure cluster only you can add the uh, your license so you can run only trial license something but let's say if you bought some buy, uh, some license like uh, platinum or uh, gold or some enterprise, you have to enable your security feature. Then only you can apply your license. Okay, that is one thing. Second thing, it is buy. So obviously in the production we cannot go with the trial or open source, right? So we will buy for license. Then obviously we must enable the security feature. Of course, 17, 17, 17 it is enabled by default. Okay, it's enabled by default. Let me give some dangerous color. Okay. Uh -huh. 
okay it's it is it's enabled by default so if it is enabled okay you must uh, in, uh, configure uh, ssl setting as well ssl setting as well as well so you have to configure okay okay so what is another uh, if uh, say in, in your normal case uh, okay if you are trying some testing or some privacy purpose then you can disable manually you can disable manually uh, the security feature then you can do testing okay uh, that, that that is the only way uh, if you are uh, if you are if you if you don't want to in security related settings for just for learning purpose okay or uh, just to expose you expose or uh, explore the apis given by the elastic search or elastic search features then you don't need it uh, as a key right in, since you are running your, in your local box, local laptops then obviously in that case you don't need all the security features then in that case manually you can disable that is the one option okay otherwise you have to uh, otherwise it will can't configure so if the security feature is enabled so you have to uh, give all the ssl configuration as well okay that is very important then <coughs> Uh, of course, uh, let us assume that, uh, uh, okay, instead of trial license, obviously we will not be running the trial license all the time, at least for protection, so, okay. Uh, so, uh, we will be, uh, so if we are going for any li purchase, li any license purchasing, okay, <coughs> sorry, if you purchase any license, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> purchase license, then as I told you earlier, right, you have to configure all the TLS transport layer security okay and uh, TLS has to be configured for internet communications okay that is that is important then if <coughs> uh, okay then role mapping also has to be there or uh, if you are using other than uh, file or native realms okay uh, file or native realms okay obviously then uh, security is I mean that authentication is different okay so don't confuse security means it is uh, it may include okay maybe this included that okay but that is different authentication is different okay Authentication means, uh, yeah, obviously, <laughs> yeah, authentication means by default, okay, authentication is happening in either way, right, either file based or native based or some uh, active directory based something. So, obviously, authentication will be there if it is security enabled, right. So, without authentication, you cannot log, you, you, you can connect even as a super user for elastic user, right, super, so with the super user role. So, for elastic user, that, that is enabled, if it is secure means that is enabled authentication. That uh, but uh, only if it is elastic user or uh, some one, one or two features that that, that that could be uh, native or re, uh, or so file based okay um, but secure but uh, but if you are using let's say for example some for some of the some some of the client we have used uh, Active Directory so in the case uh, Active Directory means role mapping must be there okay role mapping must be there they it, it is checked okay but but uh, I don't know whether empty file can be there or not that is one thing. Uh, second thing is what is now uh, yeah second thing is what is now uh, so we uh, we configure uh, the role mapping through the api only then i don't know uh, how can the boot subjects can pass right see once it comes uh, up only we can uh, run api for role mapping right so to uh, boot subjects means that is running the first time very first very first run it will check then at least i should have some then dummy file at least yeah at least, uh, at least I should have a dummy file. And dummy file means what? Role mapping dot uh, OML file or XML file. That okay. Role mapping dot XML file or OML. One second. Uh, I forgot that extension. Role mapping dot OML file. Okay. So, uh, uh, so yeah, then role mapping dot OML file must be there. I think uh, some some empty empty content will be there. I think will be okay by default. Okay. But it's a matter. Okay. Hmm. Uh, then no need right see very simple if i install the first run i am going to uh, uh, security enabled by default then uh, uh, password will pass, password for elastic user will be uh, printed in the console okay then that case, that case what i am using native uh, native real okay not even file based real so so no problem right yeah of course yeah then this is no problem okay that very when running first times i'm not going to do anything obviously right then obviously the during okay yeah then this is a fact mostly that the, the very rare right very rare okay mostly during bootstrap check we use native only native real only okay 
most of them, this is the this is the case sir okay so we will not uh, obviously yes yeah that is a fact okay if it is bigger than i think i i think i have explained all the um, uh, all the expect related features okay uh, so of course um, okay there are five things okay uh, this is mandatory my is is happened okay so obviously what is na uh, is security by default enabled otherwise you have disable yourself otherwise you are disabling yourself okay 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 so enable means you have to configure itself to take itself then only it will run okay okay uh, thank you thanks for watching so i think i have uh, covered that expect feature related boot start checks okay yeah thank you